What's up y'all? This video is just to go over some little tips and tricks about VTube Studio that I didn't feel warranted individual videos. So let's just get into it. Number one, as of last month, you can now use a USB connection to pair your phone with the PC app. This greatly lengthens your battery life and removes the need for your phone to be on the same internet connection as your PC. You just need iTunes to be installed and to pair the phone following the instructions given in the phone app. Number two, as of last month, you can also now add fade timers to all your expressions. These new settings can not only adjust how quickly your model transitions between expressions, but how long you want them to stay up before naturally fading. This is a feature that I absolutely love because I never remember to turn my expressions off. Number three, you can open multiple instances of VTube Studio outside of Steam. This is also a newer feature, and I don't really know that many uses for it, but it's something good to know. Number four, if there's something bothering you about how your model moves, there's most likely a parameter you can adjust to fix it. For example, due to the placement of my iPhone, my mouth tends to hang open a little bit on my model. To fix this, I went to the mouth open parameter and modified it until it was closed while I had a neutral face. There's parameters for everything, so go ahead and adjust them to your heart's content, but maybe take screenshots before you modify things so you can reset them if you make a mistake. Number five, there's a new mouth parameter that can let your mouth go from side to side. This adds a lot to the current facial expressions, but will need to be added via rigging. Sorry to those who just got their models without this feature, myself included. Number six. Now I covered this in my how to use VTube Studio video, but I still see people ask about it. You can take screenshots in VTube Studio with transparency turned on. It's this little button right here, and it's great if you're trying to make thumbnails or if you're trying to Photoshop yourself into something. I know I wish I had learned about this way sooner than I did because I was using a green screen for everything. Number seven. If you have a Stream Deck or want to use a program like Leoran Board for a virtual Stream Deck, you can assign your expression hotkeys to virtual keys, or rather, keys that don't appear on a regular keyboard like F13 through F24. This will ensure that you don't accidentally use a hotkey from another program when you go to use your expressions. Number eight, you can adjust the horizontal, vertical, and depth movement of your model by using Movement Config. The higher the values, the more your model is going to move around the screen. And yes, you can go into the negatives. Number nine, physics settings control all the movable aspects of your model, like hair, accessories, or other things. Higher values can lead to some really funny results. Wind adds constant movement to the scene, so turn it up if you want your clothes and hair to never stop moving. And finally, number 10, which is the last item on our list. If you're using a webcam, there are parameters like blink, eye open, mouth open, mouth smile, and brow sensitivity that can help your tracking get much smoother. I recommend playing with these to find out what settings help your model act the way you want. I hope some of these helped you, or at least you found them interesting. If you did, drop a like and comment on what you'd like to see next. Also join our Discord, where I'm usually available to answer any questions. I'll see you all next time.